Hello, and welcome to The Brain and Your Well-Being. I'm Dr. Emma, and this is Your Brain. We're going to look at how it develops as you grow up, influencing your thoughts, feelings, and behavior. Your brain is the command center of you. It manages your vital functions like breathing and heart rate, sight and hearing, and helps you think, feel, reason, learn, and remember. It works so hard, it burns 20% of your daily calorie intake. And it's doing all of that right now. So how does your brain operate? Well, it's made up of cells called neurons. You're born with an incredible 86 billion of them. Believe it or not, a two-year-old's brain is 80% the size of an adult's. And by adolescence, it's practically full size. But this doesn't mean it's finished developing. Lots of changes are going on beneath the surface. Think of brain development like a tree. Each neuron reaches out branches to other neurons, making connections and growing a network. These connection points are called synapses and enable different parts of the brain to talk to each other so you can do all the things you do every day. As you grow older, your brain becomes more specialized to do the things you do a lot through a process called synaptic pruning. Synapses you aren't using are pruned away, so active synapses have room to get stronger and better at what they do. So, the more time you spend practicing things like sports, music, or solving math problems, the more these brain networks continue to build and strengthen. While it's never too late to learn new things, these changes mean that if you want to learn something new, now is the best time to do it. Different parts of the brain also have different specialisms and grow at different times and speeds. Can you remember not being able to see well? Probably not, because this part develops very early. Our conscious, logical thinking happens in the prefrontal cortex, or front brain. It's where you make rational decisions, solve problems, and understand other people and yourselves. Whereas the limbic system part, or deep brain, generates emotions and is sensitive to new experiences, new things, and new people. It is impulsive, likes immediate gratification, and doesn't look ahead. The front brain and deep brain work together to help you make choices and learn from new experiences. Let's say you've got a carton of ice cream. The deep brain might want to eat it all. Why not? But the front brain thinks about the consequences and weighs them up. You enjoy it, but you might also end up feeling sick. Which part of the brain will you listen to? It depends on your age, who you're with, and on you. In adolescence, your deep brain is fired up by new experiences. Meanwhile, your front brain is still developing and will continue to into your mid-20s. Changes are also happening in your brain networks that process information about other people, which can make you more influenced by others, especially your friends. Together, these changes can lead to riskier behavior. For example, even though we know driving too fast is dangerous, adolescents are more likely to do it, especially when they're with friends. This leads to real danger. Drivers under the age of 25 are more likely to have a serious accident when they're with others their age. But just understanding this can help. For a start, you know why you feel that way and that it's normal. You may be able to stop and ask yourself, what would my front brain think? You can even do that for a friend. Using brave, calm, caring thoughts can make you feel less anxious, more confident. It can help you take control and make better choices. Together, you and your brain will learn and grow. Together, you will be amazing.